So, hi everyone, I'm going to play on a 15-10 game on chess.com. It's my first recording for a while, and it's because I decided to play a bit less over-the-board chess and a bit more online recording, because over-the-board chess is just a lot of effort driving there, and um, my last tournament, my first three games took, on average, three hours and a half each or something. And my longest game was four hours and a half, so exhausting. I'm actually ill right now as well, so that's because of that tournament partly. Um, and I'm really going to try and play this game seriously and then analyze them without the use of a computer, so, so we'll see what happens. Um, right now I'm out of book, that's not usually the way Black tries to hang on to that pawn. <clears throat> so let's think, and I'm not going to talk very much when I think, I don't think, um, just to make sure I think, because it's 15 minutes, it's short. Mm. So d3, f4, f4, knight f6, d3. Which is d3, um, that bishop is probably fine outside the chain, so why not? Just develop, I'm thinking. f4, knight f3, will be fine here. <coughs> Drawback of f4 is that my e3 square is weak. But I don't think black gets to, to use that. Oh, maybe f4 is not possible. Oh, it is possible. Yeah, so now his dark squares are really weak. Um, and I think white should be happy here. But I know it's early days. But if I can trade a bishop now, it could be good. So I'm not, I don't see why f4 would be bad here. I think. It should be fine. I mean, knight b3 is my other move. Why? It's not really achieving much. Knight c4. Attacking the weak d6 square. And then he plays d5. Or d5. Take. He can. Oh, he can't play d5. Mm. Maybe knight c4 is, is a nicer move here than f4. Because he hasn't castled yet. Trying to be annoying, but knight c5, queen, queen c7. G3, like he can always play E5, Knight C4, Queen C7, What about no knight c4, queen c7, e5? You can take so f4, knight out, knight c4, castles. f5. Takes that uh, five is pretty, pretty impossible, right? Um, thing is, knight c four, and then what? Just don't see a follow up. 
12 minutes. I mean, I should start more real soon because otherwise I'll lose on some pressure as, as usual. I didn't want to play longer games, but chess.com didn't seem to have a longer pool. So, knight c4. Not working yet, is it? Hmm. Knight c4, queen c7, rook e1, knight out, and then um, on knight d7, it's not really doing much. Let's just play this. I mean, I don't see knight c4 working yet. I might be missing something. Sure. Bishop to b7. Alright, so he's gonna play that. Okay, he's still not castling. He's very brave. Um, can I just play f5 now? f5 takes, takes, takes. His king is really exposed. And f7 is weak. He can't really take, can he? He can try and get an f7. I think f4 has to be good now. Just to harass his king. F4, D5, he's wasted a tempo. I don't see why not. Let's just go for it. I think I should open the position while it's like he's refusing to castle and some. Yeah, uh, he's wasted a tempo, right? So. And which way is best to take? I don't want to take on G6, I don't think, because he opens up his rook against my king. Can I take on, um, on D5 first? If I take on d5, um, I think that's best. Well, he takes back. He has to take back with a pawn, and then what about queen to e1 check? He has to block with a queen, and after I trade queens, I don't have to trade queens, I can just play. Rook to f s point to f six. I think that's good, right? Pawn takes on d five. Pawn takes on d five. Queen to e one check. If he blocks with a knight, he's losing a piece. He blocks with a queen. Then I play f six. He has the knight still there defending. Hmm. He takes, I, I win a pawn though, won't I? So let's do that. I should be open in a position with um with his king so so badly exposed anyway, right? So I guess he can take on f four. Then recalculate that. I should really stop talking so much and just play. <laughs> 15 minutes goes by really fast. I really wanted to get a longer game. Hmm. I like that chess.com doesn't show opponent's rating, so, so yeah, he takes that way. Um, I could just try going knight f3 now. Um, I suppose. I think I should. I don't see rook to to e1 achieving too much. I mean, his knight will develop to to that square, but um, pretty wants to go there anyway. So let's just do this. His dark square should be really weak if I can trade that bishop. He's gonna castle now, though, and. Um, Maybe black is even better here. <clears throat> Can I try and bend that knight? 
rookie one. Rookie one, castles, bishop, g5, rookie eight. Why do I start with bishop g5? f6 bishop d2 let's just start with this Too happy with this so far. I mean, I really need to stop talking though, huh? So you're really just gonna win that, you're saying? Um, maybe you are, let's see. Can't play d6 now. I think. His knight takes him b5, he can be getting into e3, which would be annoying. And c4, is that not working? No. Takes, takes. I don't really want to trade the, the bishop though. I'm just going to do this, let's see. I mean, eight minutes is serious time pressure for the kind of game I'm used to playing, so I'm not too happy with this time control, but um, let's keep going. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to take that knight if he trades there, and then he has his queen in a really nice square, which I'm not happy about, but um, if he takes with a knight, maybe I can play. Okay, he's gonna go like that first, that's fine. I can't play... Uh, if I take on a knight, maybe he takes with a knight. Maybe I can win d4 somehow. Just queen d2 with tempo for now. Maybe I can play queen to f4 after this and try and win a pawn that way. Okay, he's going to let me go over there, so... Really? I don't see a trick or a tactic or anything. So I think I'm just going to go for it. Let's take that. If you want to take there, it's fine.
It looks dangerous for him. If he removes that knight, maybe I can take on g6 and try and get um, mate going somewhere. I can even play rook to f4 now, rook to h4. <clears throat> I'm not sure if he should have allowed queen takes to or on h6, maybe he didn't see it. I'm curious to see what his rating is, because um, I don't think there was anything special happening here. Uh, right, okay, so he's going to attack that knight. Um, and he's protecting g6 at the same time. That's good for him. Is he attacking anything else? Not that I can see. I mean, he's going to try and go knight to d5 now. Sure. I can go rook to f4 now. Queen takes on e5. Rook to h4. Oh, his queen's defending. Queen back. So maybe just rook to a. Anything better? Rook to a, e e1, sorry. Knights to d5. Oh, right to d5. That's annoying. I can't. Knight to d5, I can't play rook to f3. I'm gonna do that. Knight to d5, rook to f3, rook to h3. I like my position again, um, I think. I'll analyze this again um, and probably try playing a longer time control next time. I'm thinking half an hour, half an hour, 15, 10, it's kind of like half an hour, half an hour though, but my time seems to go down so quickly. Um, what else is he doing? Rook to e8. I can play rook to f3 anyway. This rook to h3 is saying I'm gonna checkmate you on h8. Um, what are you doing about it? And um, also h7. So if he does go rook e8, it probably has to be the, the rook on the f file so he can make space for his king to try and run away. Mm. Maybe even g4 is a good move here. G4, F4. It's probably good for me. G4. I can't really take because they can take with a knight, though. <coughs> and that's not great. Um, F6, obviously, he can't play because I take. Yeah, so he plays with that rook to make room. Um, I'm kind of sacrifice here. Knight takes on f7, king takes, queen to h7 check, king to f8. And it's not clear, right? <coughs> so rook to f3, knight to d5, rook to h3. Rook takes, checkmate. Right? Why is he playing off to rook to f3? If he, if he lets me play rook to h3, how is he defending? Oh, all right, so wait. Rook to f3, knight to d5, queen to f8. Queen to f8. And he's bringing the queen back, right? Yeah, unfortunately his queen is coming back, that's why rook to f to e8 is a good move. So 
So maybe g4 is a, is a better move now. If he moves the knight, then I can take. And he's in trouble, so he can't really move the knight, right? g4. This is so bad. If he doesn't move the knight, then rook to f3. Okay, one more time. So rook to f3, knight to d5, rook to h3, queen back. Let's checkmate. We can't do that. <laughs> what am I talking about? Let's go for that. Yeah, sometimes I stop my calculation too early because I, I was thinking of checkmate. How, why would queen to f8 stop checkmate? Weird. It's a nice rook looked. Because he can't play g5 either because his queen is hanging, so I'd um, be interested to see what he does. To be honest, I think it's forced me already, but um, yeah, don't trust me. Right, so queen that way. I did look at that line briefly. And it probably does save him. Maybe I can play knight to d7. And if he puts his queen there, Oh, but just rook to h3, queen there. Um, yeah, so he's coming to to the fan on g7. Yeah, that's a shame. Knight to d7. I don't want to trade queens. I want to play knight to d7 just to be annoying. Knight to d7 and then queen to g5. Attacking um, attacking the knight and also attacking f6, but knight to do d5 seems to solve his problems again. D5 is an annoying move. I don't want to trade, that's the thing. Let's just play this anyway. I had three minutes left, so not sure what to do. Knight D5. Um, I'm not going to take. I can just play rook to f1. Knight to d5 is lucky for him because it stops my knight to f6 check, which I really like to do. <clears throat> Nine to d5, rook to f1, and you can play f6, which is very unfortunate. My rook is hanging on. Uh, 
let's just do this. Oh, I have six. Oh. My knight's kind of, my knight hangs down. Yeah, F6 is probably winning now for him. Time pressure, let's put it down to that. I had some sort of attack, I think I was better for a while, but now I'm pretty sure that F6 just wins. Hmm. F6, what, what do I do? Oh, okay, he doesn't play it. So if I take an NF6, I can take with a knight and then my rook escapes. And if he takes with a knight and then knight to, um, to F6, check should be strong. And he takes with a pawn. He takes with a pawn. I'm gonna take anyway because uh, I don't know how much time left. So I think his best move is to take with a pawn, but uh, I'm not sure he has that much time. Then I can play maybe c4. I think f6 was his best move there. Okay, so I can should I play c4 here to try and get rid of that knight? Really annoying knight. I'm gonna play c4 and see what happens because that knight is annoying. I'm gonna I'm gonna play f6 still. Hmm. Maybe. F6. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so this first, yeah, sure, but just rook here. All right, then show me. <coughs> He's not gonna dare and take on b2, is he? So he's coming into F2. That's losing, is it? That was very quick for him to see that tactic. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's losing because he also has queen to F1. He's gonna take my rook, and he also has queen to f1, and there is no way for me to stop it, is there? Um, yeah, good game. It's a knight to f6, no, that's nothing, does it? Very good tactic to see, you know? I'm not missing anything, am I? Black queen back to c1. Let's just do that and see. <clears throat> okay, now now he's saying he's gonna checkmate me here. Brilliant. And he also has knight to um to d3. I got one move here, and then he's going to. Alright, oh. he's gonna take on um, d3, and then I'm gonna try some something weird like queen to h, h6 or something. But then he can just 
sacrifice on g1 and then play queen to e1 checkmate wow and then queen to b1 fails to e1 queen takes 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 i think he's winning um Obviously, he's going to see the sacrifice in g1. He's been playing strong. So, nothing to do but resign, is it? Well, let's try. Let's let him win play this then. Alright then, so let's have a look. Um, I lost 19 points. He was rated... Um, he lost 19 points. So he was 1901, was he? How much was I? 1804? I'm so confused. Anyway, let's just try and analyze it now. Um, how do I do that? I think I missed my chance. Um, um, lab analysis. Right, I think that's it. Yeah, okay, so let's go. So I think this is meant to be good for me. Castle is the right move. This I haven't faced before. But I, I don't know why d3 would be a bad move. Um, I was pretty happy here. F4 straight away, maybe? Nah, just might be a bit quick. I think knight to d2, developing a piece. This should be fine. So here, I, talk, I thought for a while, and I thought that knight to um, c4 should be hopefully giving me something because he's not gasoline and um, playing a bit slow but just didn't see after queen to c7 what I could do just don't see how I get a second piece attacking that square in g6 he can always just play e5 I'm trying to put my bishop in that diagonal um, and bishop d2 Bishop d2. I don't know, he plays something like a5. Well, it'll be interesting to see if the computer does think that e6 was a, a possibility there. So I think this is all fine. Black is getting his play here. Bishop b7. Um, so f5. I did not think that this was premature. I'm only basically one move from being fully developed and he has at least two moves to get castled, so I thought this was should be fine. And he very quickly played d5. Um just uh, maybe I went wrong here. Let's see. So let's say f5 is fine. And then he plays d5. Maybe if I take with the pawn, with the f pawn first, maybe in g6. Maybe his rook being open is not so bad. Because where is his king hiding ever? I just didn't think that after taking on, on d5, he was going to take on the f file, um, getting a pretty neat structure over there. I thought he was solid after this, right? So he's very solid after that. So I didn't consider that until after I took, and that's probably a mistake. So maybe, because I thought he was gonna take back on d5, and then I thought I would somehow win that pawn, or get something against his king, but obviously he, he, he does a better capture. Um, 
which was a mistake. I should have noticed that. So what if I play in this? I mean, I was scared of playing this because I opened up the rook. Because takes an e6 is not great because his bishop comes out there and um, maybe that's even okay. So bishop comes over here. And then if it takes, let's say it takes. Black should be fine here, that's why I didn't go for this. Uh, I did look at bishop to e takes on e6. So maybe the only real possibility was to take here. Hmm. Right, so I'm not getting made to just yet, and maybe now takes. I mean, he takes. He's got queen to d6 coming at some point, but I can always play knight to f3 and at least be okay for the time being. He's not castled yet. Maybe queen to d3. It's not getting developed now, so um, so I'm interested just to know if um, going for that line is actually better. It looks double-edged, and um, I'm not too sure about it. Giving a rook an open file against your king, I really don't know. Okay, can I annotate this? Yeah, interesting. F the edge takes what what's a good move here? Takes, right? He'll he'll take. Slide out. So maybe white is better here long term. Maybe he has nothing on the h file, and I should have played this. I mean, you could probably even try playing bishop here. I don't know. I'd be it'd be interesting to see if actually h takes there is an improvement. Um, yeah, I think after this he he seems okay and. Um, I think it was black calling the shots now. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think black has a slight advantage here. Because my pawn is weak, and this pawn will be weak. Whereas this structure here feels strong to me. Um, is there a better move here? They should uh, four straight away. Hmm. I didn't really want him to take with a queen on d5 because I felt like with a bishop would be set on queen d5. He was strong. Is trading the bishop here good? Um, is it is it good? Well, I thought trading the bishop was always going to be good for me because he's kind of weakened. And I thought after this I had, um, after he let me take the pawn on, um, on h6, I thought I had something going on. And maybe here, I recaptured automatically. Um, maybe I can play rook to f3 and claim that he doesn't have time to save his bishop I 
How is he stopping me? Right, he isn't. Hmm. Rook to f3. It does get messy because rook to f3, let's say queen here. What about knight out then? Knights here. I mean, is he not just too slow to defend the mate here though? Is that one tempo? Did I have a tactic here? Just sacrifice the bishop and just forget about it and go rook f3. Just, what's he doing? Rook f3. Just don't see it. I think maybe that has to move, is it? <coughs> Rook to f3, what's black's move? I mean, honestly, I don't know. Maybe that, that was checkmate over there, and um, instead I did the automatic recapture. Um, which is never correct. Um, and I think in a longer time control, I would not automatically recapture that. How much time did I have here? No, it doesn't say. Um, I have a feeling that there's something here with rook to f3. Forget that bishop. Try to play rook to h3, and um, what's he doing? Maybe this, but then still, it's checkmate. Checkmate's coming, especially because this knight is blocking f7. Um, yeah. Uh, how's he over defending two checkmates here? It's not clear. Alright, well, if that was a missed checkmate, I'll be pretty disappointed. Um, after this, and I, I defended, I'm not sure I had a better move here. Because rook to f3 wasn't working now because queen to f6. Rook to f3, queen to f6. Rook to h3, queen to g7. And he's defending. Which, of course, is probably better than what happened in the game because maybe then I have some chances. Maybe rook to f4 is better because of that. Not even like just here. It's just, this is losing. I had to defend that, that's why I didn't do that. So I had to defend the knight, which is what I did. And then he plays the correct rook probably, but maybe it doesn't matter. Mm. So maybe here I got greedy. Maybe I lost sight of what I should be doing. Maybe I should have played now rook to f4. And um, And this should be bad for him, right? Um, he's not gonna do this. Is he? <laughs> oh, he keeps my rooks hanging. Um. So I'm, I'm probably winning this end game, right? So rook to f3 probably was no longer the best move, not because it doesn't achieve the same thing, but because rook to h3 is a similar thing. The problem is I can no longer go to an end game. You know what I mean? When I play rook to f3, if I play rook to h3 here and I trade, then it's probably an equal end game, or he's a bit better, like. This, 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 uh, and this, uh, and this. Um. 
I'm, I'm not losing. At least I'm drawing. Right? Uh, maybe maybe I'm losing because my rook is pretty rubbish. And I don't like my rook. But maybe it's a draw. Anyway, it was better than what happened in the game. Where, where I went um, knight to d7 because I thought I could get something to happen. So I, I kind of lost sight here and I was like, okay, I'm going to have to checkmate him somehow. And I really thought... That mean, I was running low on time here too, though, so I thought queen to g5 and then knight to f6 check, but knight to d5 held everything together well. And um, after this, I'm really unhappy with my position, but it's probably not losing. But this is nice coming to e3, so I mean, I did not like the look of this, just didn't. F6 is coming at any point. It's not nice. I, I think at this point, I'm not sure if it's worth analyzing. Um, I don't know if I have anything better. The rook takes on F5 is not really working. But here, maybe. So the weakness of the G1 to A7 diagonal really messed me up here as well. Maybe I should play rook to e1 straight away. What did I do? I that. And then he just gets a force in continuation. That wins. His queen comes around really quickly. But here I feel like black is already a lot better because he can also play f4. So if I play this, I mean, he can't play f4, but. I mean, it still works the same way. Um, it looks scary. Probably not losing though. Maybe work to one was better. All right, so I think for my first time analyzing a game, especially that I've lost, and if I uh, end up posting this, I think I've done well with analysis. My goal is to play a game a week and analyze it. So. Hopefully get better. Yeah, well done, Black. Um, now let's do a quick computer analysis, if possible. Computer analysis. Right. Um, quick computer analysis. <coughs> Should be enough. Um, a quick one. So yeah, our computer likes my position here, and I, I did as well, I think. Um, hmm, yes, I did, I did miss the checkmate, didn't I? Missed mate, checkmate after so I mean rook f3, and I found it in my analysis. So <laughs> great, yeah. Right, so let's have a look <clears throat> with the engine now. All good theory. So d3 was fine, knight out there is fine, f4 is fine. Um, so the computer doesn't mind the knight not going out there, so that's okay. And f5 is good here, so white is getting a good position. Um, plus 84, that's, that's pretty good. Like white should be happy to have this, and I think I was um, pretty happy. And even here, I mean, I was questioning my move, but apparently doing this is fine. It's a pretty decent advantage for, for white. So I'm not sure I didn't like this. I thought I'm gonna lose that pawn, um, but didn't really materialize because he has to castle, I suppose. And um, so yeah, bishop g5 is not great. Queen e2 apparently is better. Queen e2, and why is that? Asked me to upgrade to c9, of course. Um, he not just castle here? Why is queen e2 a good idea? 
It must be something like that. So Queen E2 was better, but it's not the end of the world what I did. Um, apparently Black has a small advantage here, and um, and uh, okay, so here is not a good move again. Uh, apparently D6 was better. D6. Yeah, I guess just um, being a bit more active, right? So white's a bit better here, and um, that's a good thing, obviously. Instead, I, I gave him an advantage here, but um, it was it was a bit better, but not much, and apparently completely equal after that. So he had to play queen d6 here straight away, because after queen d6, how do I defend that knight, right? I suppose that's the point. Queen e2 is not really the best move. Um, so he had a small advantage here, so it's not not a great exchange. But here comes the the lesson of the game. Okay, so here white is a lot better uh, based on the fact that he missed that I can take the h6 pawn, and I'm a lot better here. Just a lot better, it looks like plus two, two point five, and then he does a, a fatal mating five blunder, which I saw in the analysis and I saw after. But extremely unfortunately playing online and short games, automatic recapture A takes on B3. And you would think that um, it's not such a big deal, but if you have mate in five, <laughs> so this is what I was saying in my analysis earlier, so how's he stopping mate here? Um, rook to HD is what I'm trying to play, and I just don't see what he's doing. Just So it's mate in five, so there must be some sort of defense, something weird like this probably, you know? Um, that's probably why it's meter five. No, I mean it's checkmate then. Meter four. <clears throat> yeah. So. So that's the move here. What a shame. Yeah, it's a really strong move um, that I should have. Considered that, but the automatic recapture really, really bums me out now that I'm thinking about it. So I'm not sure how he's defending. Yeah, I'm at the G5. I don't know why the computer's not showing anything. Um, oh. Let's close that. What's he doing? Something must be bugging out there, but um, yeah, well, at least I found this in the in the post-mortem, and um, after this, looks like I'm still a bit better. Right move there. And here, rook to f3 is a mistake. Um, apparently, queen to h8 check. Is better queen to h8 check? Hold on. Queen to h8. Oh, yes, that's nice. Wow, okay, so I missed another tactic, and um, yeah, this, this is this is awesome. I want to, uh, he has five bonds, I have six bonds, and um, active rooks. This looks great for white. So, this is the game of two missed tactics for me, and then rightly so, I get punished at the end because here it's a draw still, as I was saying in my analysis, and um, there's no reason for why white should be worse, but then. Because I missed, I felt like I missed a mate in the game, and I felt like I missed my chance. Uh, now I do something stupid, and I start giving him the advantage slowly. Because after knight to d5, I'm just, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not sure I have a good move here. But then I, I do something even worse. I, I wasn't in serious time pressure here already, so, so that's fine. Um, I, I'm not even sure it's worth looking at his moves now. Um, 
So it's a blunder here apparently. So I have a draw here. And rook takes on three is not the way to draw. The way to draw is rook takes on f5. Why? Well, apparently there's a draw here. Um, rook takes on the f uh, queen takes on the five. Maybe the point is the knight's going to drop somehow. Yeah, now now it'd be good to get a computer to help me analyze this because now I'm tired. Um, <laughs> I'm bummed out that I missed out two tactics that win the game. Right. Anyway, yeah, after this, after, after I didn't do this and I did this, apparently it's all downhill and it all seems just too easy for them, for, for black and um, this is it. it's the worst move I could have played, it looks like. Um, so I did say maybe, so c3 was better, um, c3 just to um, take away that square from the queen, it's not easy to see, but yeah, black is better here already and um, it just gets worse and worse and there is no rescue in this game over. Um, right, so the story of the game is I missed two tactics and um, they were not beyond me. I found both of them when I had enough time to think. I am pretty sure that I was pretty long time when they came up, um, which is a shame. So I think next time I will try to play a longer game. I didn't see the time control I wanted on chess.com. I wanted like a, a bit longer, maybe 25 or something. Uh, I didn't see it on chess.com, so I will try and find it elsewhere next time, or just try 25 here and see if anybody takes it up, because I think I need the extra time to, to get better, because I would have probably found a tactic, and I definitely had a nice position, so that's encouraging. And um, Alright, uh, kind of crappy to come back with a loss, but I hope this sets a trend. I'm planning a video a week, it's not too much, but there'll be 52 videos over a year, all with analysis, which hopefully will get me, uh, you know, at least 50 ELO or something, who knows. Um, thanks for watching, if, if you did, if you got to this point, and bye-bye. <laughs>